In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stream Apex Legends very easily using Streamlabs desktop from start to finish in hopefully under five minutes. To start, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you download Streamlabs desktop using the link in the description of this video then you can follow right along. Also, of course, make sure you have Apex Legends installed so you can go ahead and start that up when we get to that portion. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Streamlabs desktop. I tried to blank it out as much as I could so to show you the actual start to finish. So basically, once you open it up, we're gonna have the default settings basically. Um, you should look very similar to this, but we're gonna go to the bottom left there and click connect. You can also go to the cog wheel here to the options and go down to login is here as well from there we're just going to want to log in with whichever platform we want to stream on in this case i'm going to log into twitch but you can feel free to do youtube facebook uh i think they also have TikTok here d live and some of these other ones uh so just pick whichever one you want i'm going to go with twitch so once you click that you're going to be able to authorize your login click authorize on your browser and then boom it logs you in you already have a feed with all of your recent followers and stuff with the time frames, and now you're pretty much ready to go ahead and add a source so we're going to add a source here and we're going to actually add game capture now for streaming games you could also use window capture or display capture if you want to capture your whole monitor but usually you're going to get the best performance with game capture so we're going to go ahead and select that select that you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to leave all this on automatic for now click close and now as you can see it's looking for a game to capture so if you haven't already we're going to go ahead and open up apex legends so now that we have our game open we just want to go back to our Streamlabs, open it up now you can see our game capture should be capturing apex legends if it's not showing up for some reason you can click the options here and change the mode from auto to capture specific window and then make sure it's selected on apex legends from here, it's gonna be recording your microphone. And if it's not, you can actually go into the settings, go to audio and make sure your mic is on the proper microphone that you wanna be using. Then you'll be able to adjust it right here. And then it will also already be recording all of your desktop audio. So all of your in-game audio, Discord audio, anything you're playing on Google Chrome or whatever browser. Um, it will come through this one track desktop audio. So keep that in mind. As far as the settings uh, for streaming, you want to go to the output section first and this is where you're going to be setting up your actual stream here i recommend you put the output mode on advance i'll just let you guys copy these settings if you do have pretty good internet if you have not very good internet leave me a comment below and i'll make a video going over some of the better settings you could use um, if you don't have the best internet but still want to stream it at the best quality possible but if you have good internet uh, good upload speed in particular. Just copy these settings. These are gonna be pretty much your standard stream settings no matter what platform you're on. So you wanna make sure you're using the NVENC new encoder, rate control CBR, 6,000 bit rate, key interframe interval zero or two is perfectly fine. Um, max quality preset, profile high, look ahead off. Psycho visual tuning, check mark, GPU on zero, max frames, B frames leave on two. So you can just feel free to copy those, pause the video if you like. You also wanna make sure under the video tab you have this properly configured. Now the base canvas resolution is just the size of your monitor and you might just wanna leave this on 1920 by 1080 in a lot of cases, but you can get better performance sometimes if you scale it down to something like 1664 by 936, which is like 936p. Um, you could also scale down to 720p, but if you are do have good internet and a good system, I do recommend just leaving it at 1080p or going down to 936 like you see here. But for the downscale filter, you can leave that on by cubic is perfectly fine. doesn't really affect it too much. And then of course with games, especially like Apex, you're gonna wanna make sure you are streaming at 60 FPS if you can. So it'll be much smoother gameplay than if it was on 30 FPS. Couple extra settings if you go to the advanced tab. Um, you could set the process priority to above normal just to ensure uh, Streamlabs has plenty of resources from your computer. Now that you have all that set up, you can feel free to add more sources such as your alerts and overlays and things like that. Webcam as well, or you can just go ahead and click go live and whichever account you are linked to if you are logged in, it'll just go live. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.